Today we'll talk about how to find a regulated broker in Forex. No matter where you are in the world, what country you're in, you'll be able to find a good broker to trade with and you won't be afraid of losing your capital with that broker. That's an issue you have people struggling with a lot. For some reason, people deposit money in a broker that they don't trust or that they feel they'll be protected with, but they're not. And that's a big problem. So I want to show you how that would work. And let's dive into how to find a regulated broker. I'll go with you step by step through the whole process. Okay, so the first thing you gotta know about brokers is the fact that there are different regulations and I'm not gonna bore you with all the stuff here. It's really, really boring and kind of pointless and there are so many regulations in the world that we could just go through. Here's an article from FX Empire that I'll link below the video if you want to check it out. And that article that I've just removed the ads here for you guys is really simple. It guys you through all the regulations in different countries. So in Europe, you have these ones. Uh, in France, you have the Autorité des Marchés Financiers. They have different ones in different countries, that's fine. And then they, got, they kind of give you the rules for all the regulations here. So you can see with, with CISEC, uh, which is the Cyprus Securities and Exchange Commission, that's the rule that they have. Now you can go further than this. They give you all the details here, uh, the ESMA. Then in the UK, you have this one, the FCA. So FCA, you have a few regulations here. At least a million pounds in operating capital, submitting the audits and things, all these stuff is here. So you can just read this on your own time. Uh, but you'll see they are all a bit different and all a bit similar at the same time. Okay, so it's not something that you have a tough time with. It, it's pretty simple, but if you want to know the details of the regulations and how this works, this article guides you to all the steps. In the USA, it's the CFTC, in the NFA, National Futures Association, you've got all these rules. And there they have a lot more rules. So you have a limit on leverage of 50 to 1 for the major currency pairs and 20 to 1 for all the other pairs. Okay, it's just something you have to be aware of. And Australia is the same, so ISIC, a million Australian dollars in capital, all these things after that. Okay, South Africa, you have a different one, FSCA. So you can read this at your own pace whenever you want if you desire. But the reason why we covered this here is the fact that we need to look at how to pick a broker based on your country. Depending on where you're from or where you actually reside in, so it's based on the country of residency, you'll be able to pick a different broker. And not all brokers are equal. And the US have a much limited choice compared to let's say in Europe or in Canada or in Asia for example but we need to be able to pick the right broker for your country of residence and that's why I want to introduce you to a tool I use a lot it's a website called Forest Park FX now I've interviewed the guys who run this website many times in the podcast before I'll just leave their interviews somewhere here in the corner or here I can't remember which one that is but that website is really good. I'll also leave a link, the first link below in the description. It's going to allow you to use my personal link for that website so that I give you a referral. You also give me part of the referral for using that website. And that's a good thing. So if you want to support me, best way to do it is using that link. But if you just want to go on the website, then just do that. That's fine too. I'll show you how we do it now. Okay, so when you arrive on the website, you'll be on this home page here. That's the home page right there. Now, what you want to do is you want to go and go down. You see the broker selection. You have all broker and you could all see the broker here and you'll be able to compare them really easily after. You want to go down a bit more, go to here compare brokers. Okay, you click on that button. Now what that button allows you to do is pick the country that you are from or actually the region. So United States, Latin America, Middle East, Canada, Europe and APAC for Asian Pacific. Depending on the country you're in, just click on the country. So for example, United States. I know most of you guys on a channel reside in the United States, that's fine. And then you've got the list of all these brokers. Now these are all regulated. So you have no worries with putting an account with them. The guys at Forest Park FX, they screen them. They go through a lot of different compliance to make sure that the broker are good. And here you see we have three brokers, Forks.com, Oanda, and IG. Now there are more brokers than this, but these are the ones that they recommend that you can use. And you'll see they all have a 50 to one leverage because that's the rule in the US. Any broker giving you more than that in the US is a scam, okay, it's not possible. Uh, then you've got, so 51 all. Now the cool thing about this website, uh, Forest Park FX, is that if you decide to open your account with them, or actually through them, like so you open an account with Oanda through Forest Park FX, they will give you rebates. Now rebates are basically a commission that you get back every time you place trades. Okay, so the way this works is they have a different one here. So for, for example, Forex.com, they have a 10% rebate on the round term spread. So 10% of the spread you get back with that broker. Now this might seem like a little bit of money and not much, but over time it really adds up to a lot. If you trade a lot of capital and if the spread is big, like if you trade like a couple thousand dollars every day, then the spread is gonna be big. So that's something you can, you can look at here. 
for example, with Oenda, it's different. So they give you 0.2 pips. I guess that's per every trade. So 0.2 pips you get back on the spread. That's a good thing. Okay. Uh, and then they will give you with all the broker the minimum deposit, 250 one dollar so there's pretty much no minimum here and 250 here with ig okay you can see the platform that they use they have mt4 the platform called advanced trader trading view and they have web they have mobile so that that's really good uh, same thing here with with oanda they have their platform called fx trade and then this one has only mt4 web and mobile so different so that's just an example of the us here and you can really compare the brokers easily with that website now one thing is you are sure they are regulated and you can see which one fits best your, your criteria, whatever you, you care about. Now let's look back and we'll go again here and let's have a look at the brokers that are, let's say in Asia Pacific, because we have a lot of choice here. Click on that. You see we have Axie that I use myself. We have Aidcap that I use myself. Equity, I've never used that broker before. FXDM, I guess it's all right. Uh, FXDD, FX Pro, and Global Prime, and Oenda, and Pepperstone, and Think Market. So we have a lot here, okay? We have a lot of choice uh, because the regulations here in Asia are much less and that means that you can open an account with more brokers. Now, these are still all regulated. Like, no problem with that. They are still really, really good, but we have more choice here. So here we have Axie. Axie is decent. It was called Axie Trader before. It changed the name to Axie. They have the ISIC regulation, uh, SVG FSA, which I'm not sure what that is. They will allow you leverage that's much bigger, 400 to 1. And even here, 500 to 1 with ACAP. So if you want a big leverage, you got to find an address in Asia to be able to put an account with the broker in Asia for sure. Okay, so here the rebate is a $1 per lot. So every time you trade one lot, they'll give you back $1 uh, round trip, I think. And if you have a standard account, they give you 0.2 pips per trade back on your rebate. If you open your account, by the way, with this website. So if you want to start with this, you just click here on Get Started. You'll be able to create an account here by picking your country again and creating your own account by yourself. So you pick here Asia, you fill in the details here, and you'll be able to open an account, plus the rebates will be paid to yourself when you place trades in your account. Might not seem like a lot again, but it's better than nothing for sure. And if you trade big at some point, if you increase your account size, it's gonna be worth a lot of money anyway. So it could be good. Okay, 8cap is one that I use myself. It's when they have MT4, MT5 trading view, more than Axie, because Axie don't have trading view yet. Uh, and they have $100 minimum deposit, that's good. Uh, minimum trade size here, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, that's the same. Okay, so you have a few here, uh, ASIC. By the way, ADCAP have more regulations than this, they have a lot of them. So they just show you the ones for, for Asia, I think, but they have more than this. Okay, FXCM, FXCD, $50 deposit, 12.5 uh, of commission paid, so whatever commission you pay here with FXCM, you'll get back 12.5% of that, of the commission you paid. So pretty decent. They have the trading station platform, of course, and a few different things. So it works quite well. You can read all these details here. Uh, you can just go through this if you want, but you can kind of compare the brokers that fit your style, fits your requirements better, of course. That's what it is. So hope you like this video today. Hope you got some value out of it. Hope you liked it, of course. Leave me your thoughts below as always. If you found a broker with this website, let me know in the comment section which one, and let me know your experience with it. This is a good tool for traders who want to find a broker that's, first of all, regulated, so you have no risk of losing your capital. It's safe and you're able to pick ones that fits your need based on this website. So pretty good thing to do. I'll leave the link below. The first links are gonna be on that website for SparkFX with my link to support me, first of all, and to be allowing you to get the best rebates on your account. Check that link below. Subscribe if it's not done yet. I publish videos like this four times per week, and I'll catch back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.